Welcome back to Total Tool Reviews with Blair. Today we are going to be looking at the Leatherman Wave Plus. What do we like about it, and what don't we like about the best-selling Leatherman on the market today? Before we get started, let's hear what Leatherman has to say about the Wave Plus. The whole point of a multi-tool is to be better prepared without having to be over-prepared. As anyone in the trades can tell you, it's always best to use the right tool for the job, but it's not always practical to carry all of your tools around with you at once. Today we are going to compare some of the features against the tools it will be replacing and see how it stacks up. Here we are comparing the Wave Plus to the Klein all-purpose players. We can see here how well the Kleins cut this 18 AWG low voltage wire. Now for the Leatherman. Both have a really good solid fill. I'd be comfortable using these on any wires as long as they are completely shut off from power. An international bestseller, the Wave Plus has all the essential tools of the original with the addition of replaceable, durable wire cutters. All 18 tools can be opened and locked quickly, conveniently to tackle any task. Many of these tools are outside accessible, so you can use them when the multi-tool is folded and closed. Let's see how the clients do for crimping. Keep in mind these are not dedicated crimpers, but they do a great job without adding another tool to my bag. As you can see, they work great and give a solid crimp. Now for the Leatherman, as you can see, I'm not having a lot of luck or progress getting the crimper to hold a solid connection. They could work in a pinch, but since you're most likely going to be going back to your truck for more connectors, you may as well grab yourself your crimpers as well. Now for the screwdriver. I was really not expecting this to work as well as it did. With its thin quarter inch bit and rectangle handle, I thought this would be awful to get started and uncomfortable to actually use, but I had no problems at all, and I give this super high marks. As you can see, even when comparing it head to head with the Wera Phillips head screwdriver, you can see almost no difference in effort. I definitely won't be using this to drive every sprue but when needed, this will definitely work. Another thing I really like about this tool is the locking mechanism. The locking mechanism for the tool is a sturdy push button that locks securely and prevents the tools from closing at the wrong time. Inside the handle is a small screwdriver for either eyeglasses or small electronics. These fit snugly, as you can see. There is also the Leatherman proprietary slim quarter inch bit. This set comes with a bladed and Phillips head, and other sets can be purchased for between $15 and $30. The good, you're getting a great quality build with a 25 year warranty. It's lightweight and it's black canvas sheath, you certainly won't notice on your belt until you need it. Having it handy can easily give you an excuse to leave your tools in your truck because there are not a lot of things this thing can't handle. 
One thing I wish this had would be a standard quarter inch driver to add standard size bits. However, the option to purchase a variety of flat quarter inch bits is nice. So, what do we think? For a multi-use tool that can fit snugly in your pocket and attach to our belt, this tool will come in handy in more ways than you can imagine. And it's so easy to use, you will be going out of your way to find a reason to use it. All in all, I definitely recommend the Leatherman Wave Plus. So if you like this review, make sure to leave a like and tell me in the comments section below what tool you would like me to review next. Thanks for checking in. This has been Total Tool Review with Blair.